Welcome into BLTV Channel 6. I'm Brian Kell. We have extended some invitations to candidates throughout our service area that find themselves in contested races on May 3rd. And we are pleased to have in studio from that invitation uh, a person that is running for Warren County County Executive in the primary for the Republican side, Mr. Joseph Stotts. Joseph, welcome. Thank you, Brian. All right. Appreciate well, listen, it. tell us a little bit about Joseph Stotts. Uh, let's see. I, I grew up in Morrison, Tennessee. Uh, you know, went to, uh, I was, I've always been a Morrison Eagle. Um, you know, graduated from Morrison Elementary in 91, graduated from Warren County High School in 96, went to Montlow State, uh, graduated from there in 2001 with associate's degree, went to MTSU and uh, studied business and psychology, graduated from there in 2004. Um, went to UT, got my master's in 2009, and got licensed after that as a licensed clinical social worker, uh, which means I can practice independently if I were to choose to, to, do, to do that as, a, as an independent therapist. Um, you know, my background's in business management, policy development. Um, you know, I'm very passionate about helping people. I'm very passionate about um, putting myself in a position to where I can help people to have second chances whether it be to find a job, uh, to open a business, support small business. Um, you know, uh, me and my family, first and foremost, you know, we're Christians. We believe in our Christian faith. Uh, that's, that's first and foremost to us. Uh, you know, we, we've attended church here, the Church of Christ, various churches of Christ across the, across the county over the last few years. I'm actually a fill-in preacher at many of those. And so uh, we live over in Hickory Hills. We lived there for six years. My son's name is Bowman Stotts, and my daughter Lucy Lee is six years old. My son's 10. My wife works at the high school, and, and we just love the community. I was born and raised here, and this is, this is where we're going to stay. What do you see as the role of the county executive? You know, the last three years on the commission, um, I've been able to kind of engage and watch a lot of the activities that's taking place in that row. And I really feel like the role of the county executive is supporting the county commission. And what I mean by that is trying to provide as many opportunities, educational opportunities to the commission on uh, proposed vote, what it can mean either way. Uh, you know, I know that when people elect the county executive, they elect the county executive um, based upon the county executive's vision for Warren County. But we can never let the county executive's vision override the legislative body. The county, executive's the county executive's vision should be to provide all the information that he or she can to the county legislative body and make sure that they have the opportunity to make the decision they can for the betterment of the Warren County. Um, what are major changes uh, you would like to see brought about either by you in, in that capacity if you were to win or, or in working with the county commission? I tell you, I would like to, one of my focal points of my campaign, again, is jobs. Job growth, finding a way to stimulate the local economy to where we're not $32 million in debt, 32.7. Uh, um, you know, looking at our local economy, we've come a long way, but we need jobs. People need jobs where they can support their family. When you have two people working and they're making seven twenty-five dollars an hour, uh, and then, then half of that, half of what they're making in, a, in that household goes to pay for the insurance package for the county. Like right now, it's just not, it's not feasible. I'd like to look at our county insurance package. I'd like to work with the county commission. Um, you know, my background's in healthcare, 20 years experience in healthcare. I feel like that will be a benefit to the county, bringing that to the table. I'd like to see that insurance package Im improved. I'd like to see our fire departments have more funding. Uh, we've got all of our folks in our fire departments that give of all their resources every day to pretty much run the fire departments. And so I'd like, for, I'd like to see an increase in our ability to fund them. Uh, I'd like to continue, as I have on my past voting record, continue to support our teachers. Um, you know, a lot of folks don't realize that our teachers are buying out of their pocket every day uh, for their classrooms. Um, I'd like to look to continue to support them. I'd like to continue to support um, our law enforcement and our, our EMS workers, our sanitation workers. I mean, I truly believe if you take care of your employees, they're going to take care of you and they're going to take care of the job that you've assigned them to do. Uh, no micromanagement involved or needed. And that will not be my approach and historically has never been my approach in management with the company that I'm with now. I do not believe in micromanaging my employees uh, or the county's employees. I do not believe um, 
I believe in letting people do their own job, assigning them to the job, and letting them go from there. What is, you mentioned quite a few things right there, but what is the single, in your opinion, the most single issue facing Warren County over the next four years, and how do you plan to deal with that? Again, it's debt. I, I believe it's debt, and I believe it's jobs. Um, and my plan is this. My vision for the county is bringing in more jobs and having more people work in the county in which they live. 42% of the people that live in Warren County are currently driving out of the county for work. And if you think about that every day, we're losing all that sales tax revenue for lodging, food, shopping, um, all those things that could be right here in Warren County. You know, we're, we've, uh, you know, we've built over the last couple of years, we're, we've started to build a good foundation on how to support uh, various uh, job opportunities that would come into the county, whether it be the new uh, Hampton Inn, the Megatronic Center, but we don't have the infrastructure uh, to support placing people in positions where they can work and live and support their families in Warren County. I would like to see that change. There have been quite a few narrow margins on the County Commission. You serve on the County Commission here in Warren County. When there are motions that you firmly believe in, uh, how do you work to try to bring about a consensus among the commissioners? Well, I'll be honest with you, Brian. I Again, even as a county commissioner, I have tried to always voice my opinion. If someone asks me my opinion, I will give them based upon the facts that I have. But I believe, first and foremost, the best way to run transparent government is to discuss those things in meetings. I mean, obviously, you know, people are going to call one another, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Uh, but I think, you know, just giving one's opinion um, is, it's kind of what you can do. I mean, I, I believe that uh, it's best discussed in committees. Uh, these decisions uh, need to go through committees, uh, and uh, we need to lay everything on the table on where we're at, why we believe certain things, and at the end of the day, respect other people's opinions, even though we all don't agree. Okay. Um, thank you for your time. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of folks are going to be watching this and flipping over to uh, to Channel 6 uh, from time to time. They may see this. Uh, you've got, probably got about five minutes here. Do, if you want to, speak to the person that is out there watching right now as, as far as why you are the best person uh, to vote for in the Warren County Republican primary on May 3rd. Thank you, Brian. First and foremost, uh, we formed our campaign a year ago. We've been campaigning for a year. And we formed our campaign on God, family, and Warren County. And that's what we truly believe. It's not a slogan. It's not a political slogan. It's truly what we have invested in as a family. And we, we truly believe in you. As a native of Warren County, I can tell you that if you're tired of politics as usual, if you're tired of government as usual, you want someone that will listen to you, I ask for your vote. This coming week, starting Wednesday, uh, the 13th of April through the 28th will be early voting. The day of will be May 3rd. You know, a year ago when we began our campaign, I started off my speech with that I came from nothing. I grew up in public housing and that I faced a lot of troubles and struggles as, as a child growing up. And over the weekend, I thought long and hard about that statement when we had our last rally on Saturday. And if I could change up anything that I've said over the last year, it would be that I truly feel like instead of saying that, I would say that God has created me. I truly feel like for this opportunity right now to serve you, to serve Warren County, to put Warren County first, to stay local, buy local, create jobs local, support small businesses, and support you. Uh, we're asking for your vote again. We won't always make the perfect decisions. We won't always uh, satisfy everybody, but we'll always listen to your opinion, and you will always be valued and respected, and I'll always be a phone call away. Thank you. God bless you. We're asking for your vote and as your Republican county executive in the Republican primary going into the general election in August. Thank you. God bless you. 
All right, Joseph, thanks so much for coming by. We appreciate your time. Once again, Joseph Stotts, Warren County uh, Republican primary candidate uh, for County, County Executive May 3rd. Uh, be sure and check out our uh, coverage that we'll have here of the election on May 3rd, starting around 7 o'clock, and we'll go and be covering six counties, uh, an unprecedented amount of counties, uh, for, uh, for this time here at BLTV Channel 6. So until that time, uh, appreciate Joseph coming on by, and we look forward to bringing you more information uh, leading in towards May 3rd here on BLTV Channel 6. Thank you.